shall not pass. Back for the old days. Grog! First chapter, a feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. We'll find inside here, but it stinks! That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the twelfth statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of twelve statuettes wrapped in hand. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zarao back and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange... No idea. We're only in it for Yeah, the and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth! Arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm, all those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting f***ed over by some goddamn door. My cousin Krimli always says if it's magic, hit it harder. No, wait! More. Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? Damn it, an orc! And I'm alone, of course! I'm this is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Well, sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool, he's alone, this shouldn't be a problem.
magic not good! Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, he... he there were is... more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all right... It was horrible! I found myself in these disgusting toilets! But where are the others? It's because of that moronic dwarf. He must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to um, find... How about Fine. No, we'll need his act if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around... Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I... Yeah, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle... I've got no choice if you want to move ahead. we got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must... I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss When fighting that. alone, charging head-on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned.
chicken shit. We did. Ah, finally, there you are. Yeah, well, we had to fight up hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. Looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. I see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. Here we go, it's opening! To the body, yippee! Aw, I'm happy too, buddy. I'd have expected him to bend the bars. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical. Careful with my books! How ironic for a thief to empty his own pockets. I've got some nuts for the squirrels! Well, I found some writing materials in his bag. I should be able to map the dungeon now. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going, although I'm pretty used to most players f***ing around by clicking happy. You should always note your escape routes on a map. Go oh, what a pretty drawing. What is it? I hear something. Someone's coming. Go check Why it out. should it be me? Wait. Coward! Yes, sir. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Intruders. Let's eat them too? Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up! We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else.
Wow, what a fight! Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Enough defeatism. Let's go, we still have to find the dwarf. <laughs> 